This is Luke from Emo Electric. We're here today in our new retail space in East Merchants, New York, where we've got the largest in-person selection of small electric outboards in the country. But we're here today to talk about the Timo 1000, which is the latest addition to our lineup of small electric outboards. It's got some unique features that the other outboards we sell don't have, and we're excited to show you about it. So the video today will just be kind of a brief overview, and then soon we'll have a full length product review video. So keep an eye out for that soon. So there are a few features of the Timo 1000 that make it unique relative to other electric outboards on the market. It is a 1100 watt motor, so that's the exact same as the Torquedo Travel S, and a thousand watts more than the Remigo One or the E-Propulsion Spirit. So very similar power output. It's got a 949 watt hour battery. So you've got about 50 minutes of runtime at full throttle. But one of the things that's unique about Timo is that the battery is this cassette that fits right inside of the shaft. It's also very lightweight, the motor and the battery. All together, this weighs 35 pounds and the battery itself weighs about 13 pounds. So if you're concerned about weight, either weight that you have to handle or uh, the weight on the stern of your boat, the Timo 1000 is one of the lightest options out on the market today, similar to the Remigo in weight and about 10 pounds lighter than three horsepower models from Torquedo and e Propulsion. Another great feature of the Timo is the retractable tiller handle. So the tiller, you can pull it up, fold it down, use it like so, and then when you're done, it folds right back into the shaft. So that keeps it out of the way when you're transporting the motor, which is really nice, and just keeps everything pretty compact. And the other cool thing for sailors is if you're using this on a sailboat and you want to use the sailboat's rudder to steer, you can actually lock the steering by pushing this lever up, and then you can still use the tiller to control your speed when the tiller is stowed away. So depending on the setup for your sailboat, it might be really nice to be able to control speed like that, opposed to having the tiller out where it might get in the way of something else. Another feature that we really like about the Timo 1000 is the adjustable shaft. So with uh, e-propulsion and Torquedo electric outboards, you have to buy the right shaft length for your boat. There's a couple different options, which is fine if you're using the motor on one boat, but if you're using it between different boats, it's really nice to be able to adjust that shaft length. So Remigo is the only other one on the market today that has that feature, at least in the US. Uh, and with the Timo, all you have to do is loosen these uh, Allen head machine screws there and there. And then there's a track. There's a piece of black plastic or metal that takes that space up right now. Um, but you can loosen these up, pull that track out, and then slide the motor up or down on the bracket to get it to the perfect shaft length for your boat. And that shaft length is adjustable between about three and 15 inches. So a couple of other small features that we like is the uh, transom bracket. So you can remove the motor and leave this bracket on your boat, just like the Remigo or the E-Propulsion E-Lite. Uh, we also like how on the battery, you can see what your state of charge is. Now, this doesn't give you the most accurate data, but if you press that button, then you can see your state of charge rounded to the nearest 25%, which is really nice, especially when you think about the other batteries on the market that don't have that feature. So you don't need your motor to get an idea of what the state of charge is like on the battery. And we've also got a small little display here, which we'll talk more about on the water, where you get runtime data uh, and other important information there. So let's head out on the water and test out the Team 1000. So we've already installed the transom bracket on our dinghy. Works like any other transom bracket or any other small outboard. So now we're gonna put the Timo 1000 on. This is really noticeably lighter weight than other electric outboards. And that slides right on like so. We lock it down with that and our motor's on. And then we're gonna take our battery, make sure that the connection point is facing aft. Slide the battery in. And then we're all set up. So we're gonna extend our tiller, power our motor on. 
get our kill switch going and it actually goes on the bottom side of the tiller there. All right, we're ready to go. So we're out on the water with the Timo 1000. We'll show you what the little screen on the top of the motor looks like first. We have three pieces of information. Up at the top, we've got our state of charge. Below that, we have our power output in watts. So the maximum that can get to is 1100. So we're at about 25% power output now. And then on the bottom there is our runtime. So you can see at this speed, we've got about four hours. And if we speed up, that number will go down a little bit. So it has all the important information there. One thing it doesn't have is speed, although most small electric outboards don't have that information. It's only the new Torquedo travel motors that will give you your speed. And it doesn't often matter on a little dinghy like this. And if you do want to know, there's apps you can get for your phone that will tell you. All right, so now we're going to test out what our range and speed is at full power. So one of those apps we can use is Navionics from Garmin. That'll give us our speed. One thing we do notice is that this motor is definitely a little bit louder than the e-propulsion Spirit and the Torquedo Travel. A little bit more similar to the Remigo One, maybe a little quieter than that. But we're not at full power, you can't really hear it, but now you can hear a little bit of a hum from it. So we've got about 47 minutes of runtime. That is just what, uh, just what Timo says. They say 50 minutes at full charge. Right now we're at 96%. So at 100%, we would have been at 50 minutes. And our speed right now is about four knots, maybe 4.1. So that's two of us in about a nine and a half foot soft bottom inflatable dinghy without too much wind or current involved here. So it might be a little bit slower than other three horsepower electric outboards, but it's hard to tell after just a couple minutes. Here. So if you're interested in the Tima 1000 or any other small electric outboard, we sell Torquedo, E-Propulsion, Timo, and Remigo here at Emo Electric. If you have any questions on these motors, give us a call. It'll probably be me that answers the phone. And we ship these everywhere in the continental US, typically for free. So the tilt trim bracket on the Timo 1000 is unique. Uh, it's certainly their, their design. We haven't seen anything like this before. It does have a shallow water tilt angle. We're gonna push down on the tiller and then push this lever back. And you kind of have to get above it and then slide it down. And so now we're at that 20 degree angle. So it's helpful to have if you're in shallow water, but as far as you can tell, that is the only other option besides all the way up, which will look something like this. To pull that lever towards us to lift it up. And then we're gonna push it back to get it locked in. And one of the cool things about this mechanism is that it can tilt or it can turn, excuse me, uh, 360 degrees. So right now this is hitting our boat, but for some sailors, it might be really useful to be able to swing the motor all the way in and over the boat. But if you're on a dinghy like this, you'd probably just leave it hanging over the stern there. That max angle is 85 degrees which is nice on some electric outboards, it's not quite as high, but as you can see here, our motor is totally out of the water at that full tilt angle. So there's our first look at the Timo 1000. We have these for sale in our online store. We ship everywhere in the continental US, typically for free. So if you're interested, head over to www.bmoelectric.co or give us a call. We'll be happy to help you pick an electric outboard that's right for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. It helps make this, these videos possible. Happy electric boating.